Hey, shalom, Mark News, Rakam, Akapash, from Jim and Slonin, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chach, Hadash. I'm going to give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and shalom, I'm out there to the hopeful, let's push this truth and all sincerity. Uh, back again with another video, right? Uh, it's not going to be a long one. Well, it's just off this article here and what's going on, with, going on over there in the land of Israel at the moment, right? And, um, you know, <laughs> Netanyahu's been uh, re uh, Netty, <laughs> as you may be well known by now, as Netty has been um, put in office again, right? For like some record time, like six times he's been in <laughs> some great, <clears throat> crazy amount of times. <coughs> it's like, yo. But this government that he's formed, right, is the most hard hardlined government that you know has pretty much existed, right? And um that that um bodes well, right, for increased tensions in the Middle East, man. You know, we know these um these small hats are gonna, you know, play a key part in you know the reasons behind uh the war in the Middle East, World War Three. Okay, which is going to obviously involve the world's major powers. Okay, Russia, America, you know, China, Iran, and and and, and NATO, right? Europe. And um, yeah, these these play, these people are going to play a critical role, man. And 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 the more hard line they are, the more you know potential that is for to happen, right? I think they got the term in in America like they're hawkish, you know, um, you know, driven by a war, right? And so like I said, that that bodes well for obviously the fulfillment of prophecy. Okay, we know they're gonna play play a role, right? So I'm gonna get this from um, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, yeah. Uh, so quickly. Uh, let me read up a little bit actually. Okay, that's Babylon, right? Okay, so yeah, let me just jump down to verse 20 here because up, up here it's talking about Babylon. Okay, America being destroyed, right? Because that is going to be the end result of World War Three. Okay, America is going to end up being totally, utterly annihilated by a thermonuclear destruction. Okay, thus saith the Lord, right? But these uh, these small hats, these, you know, these, um, you know, JOOs, right? They're going to play their part in, in fanning the fires of that war, right? Um, in verse 20 it says here Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord That he had taken against Edom Because these small hats They're really Edomites man, Of the tribe of Amalek Okay they're, they're not You know Israelites by blood Right they're You know By by uh, uh, Theft <laughs> Right And um, Yeah they're really the nation of Edom Okay that, that's inhabiting the land of Israel right now and so then his purpose is <clears throat> that he had proposed against the inhabitants of Timon. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out, right? So among among the nation of Edom, like I said, you've got the tribe of Amalek, right? And these that is the, the head tribe of the children of Edom, but they're also, you know, one of the smallest, right? And they're, they're the least of them, right? But they hold the most amount of power. The elites, they all, you know, they're all uh, JOOs, right? And they're Amalek, okay? And they, they hold so much power and sway, in the earth, right there, but they're the least. They're, they're just a small group of people, right? But they're gonna create this atmosphere for war in the Middle East, man. Okay, whatever the narrative comes out to be, right? They're gonna play a lot, a, 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 you know, a vital role in bringing around about that. Okay, you know, and and no doubt, you know, it probably has something to do with Iran and and you know. Whatever these 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 are uh, you know Syrians and all that kind of you know these other nations that are opposed to Israel um, in the Middle East, all right. But obviously these defense pacts that these these uh, these nations got with other nations, you know, because Iran are uh, you know linked up with with Russia. Russia is linked up with China. You know they've all got invested uh, interest in in those areas, man. So they're going to come and defend, right? But we all know when the big boys step in now, it's a big issue, right? If Russia comes up against Israel, it's a big issue, man. America has to step in, you know. And they, there you go. You got the two world major powers clashing head to head, you know. And obviously, US are gonna bring their boys in NATO, 
Okay, Russia gonna bring their boys in China, all right? And you're gonna have you know different nations pick different sides in that time, and they're gonna join that war, man. Okay, but they're gonna play a big role in, uh, you know, bringing bringing that around. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, let's uh, let's just read some of this, right? So, this is from the BBC. All right, it says, uh, Net Netanyahu's hardline new government takes office in Israel. So, the most religious and hardline government in Israel's history has been sworn in. It says British British Benjamin Netanyahu returns as prime minister after his Likud party formed a coalition with ultra-nationalist and ultra-orthodox Jewish allies. There is a domestic and international concern. It would inflame the conflict with the, with the Palestinians, right? Because they've got their little beef going on down there, right? With them lot. And and this is just the thing, right? <laughs> if if these were the, the, the Lord's chosen people and they've been brought back into the land, as is supposed to be prophesied, right? That they should be at peace. Okay, there should, there should be peace in the world. There should be peace. Right, there should be peace, man, but there isn't. They have not fulfilled no prophecy. You know. Uh, make afraid. Oops. <clears throat> Where is it? All right, it's, uh, Jeremiah forty-six, verse twenty-seven. It says, but fear not thou, O my servant Jacob, and be not dis dismayed, O Israel, for behold, I will save thee from afar off, and thy seed from the land of their captivity. Right, this is this supposed to have happened in, 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 was it 1948, 1949 or whatever, right? That, that, that was what they say was the fulfillment of that prophecy, right? They were meant to come back into the land, right? They were being saved from, from wherever they were, right? And now they're in the land of Israel. Okay, apparently if they fulfilled the prophecy. But what about this part, right? So, and thy seed from off the land of captivity, and Jacob shall return. They're meant to be the JOOs, right? Even though Jacob is, is the, the whole nation of Israel, which is made of 12 tribes, which is not, you know, widely recognized there, right? Just, the, you know, JOOs, right? Jacob shall return and be in rest and at ease. These men don't sound like they're at ease at all, man. They're beefing with the Palestinians, they're beefing with the, the, the Iranians, the Syrians, the, the Hezbollah, and... All kinds of people, man. You know, that's why they need a hardline government, man, because they're not at peace. The, the man caught it here, right? Benjamin not, not in, uh, Netanyahu said his administration would restore governance, peace, and person. Well, the, well, you, that was meant to happen when you went into the land. Yeah, how was I was meant to make that for you? You know, who, who you call, uh, you're going to call Jesus Christ, or, or you know. You know. Whatever, right? <laughs> They're talking about restoring peace and governance. That's that. What do you mean? What do you mean? That's meant to be a given when you returned. All right. It says, um, Jacob shall return and be in rest and at ease, and none shall make him afraid. Right. But they're always scared, man. They're always complaining about oh, someone trying to destroy us and blah 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 blah. Always complaining, always scared. You know. Uh, was it Malachi four and uh, Michael four? Oops. All right, and all of this, man. You read this, man. None of this is going on. Right, they ain't teaching the the world the laws of the of the Bible. Okay, the whole world is not being governed. It's talking about governance, right? They're not being governed by the laws of the Bible. What kind of you know uh, authority do they have in the world? Really, they're not they're not making people abide by this. No, America's running the show right now, right? It says um, I'm, I'm just get the point here in verse uh, verse three, right? It's a microphone for us free. It says, uh, and he shall judge among many people and rebuke strong nations that are far off. Right? That's what they're meant to be doing. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares. So you're meant to stop wars, not create more wars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right? They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Okay, farming tools, right? 
Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore, right? Israel meant to put a stop to all the fighting. Every man's gonna have his inheritance. There ain't gonna be no war for land and resources anymore. Okay, everything that's meant to belong to, to these different nations that are gonna to belong to them. Right? There ain't gonna be no need for fighting no more. But here it is Israel uh, fighting more wars and causing more problems in the world. Okay, they're not doing what the job that the Israelites are meant to be doing in that land. Because they don't belong in that land. It's not them. They have not they have not fulfilled any prof uh, pretty prophecy, man. Alright. But anyway. So I'll just go back to the article quickly. It says, uh, there is a domestic and international concern. It will inflame the conflict with the Palestinians, damage the judiciary and restrict minority rights. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Netanyahu has promised to pursue peace and safeguard civil rights. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Uh... Palestinian fears heightened as Israeli far right heads to power. Mm. Oh, they, they, look at this as well, right? He said, um, where is it? Here? It says, several hundred protesters, meanwhile, gathered outside waving Israeli flags, rainbow flags. Another, another thing that should not be going on in the land of Israel. If they're meant to all be about the law and, the, you know, the, the Torah and all of that, right? Why, why are such things being allowed to go on? Okay, these people are meant to be teaching the ways of, of, of the Torah. Yet, they don't even follow it themselves. They, they you know, they promote all kinds of wickedness. You know? Um, oh, another point. It says, more, more, more. A woman from Jerusalem told the BBC, I am here because my country is falling apart from its democratic values. It ain't meant to be no democratic value. It ain't meant to be no democracy. You know? It's meant to be a monarchy. You know? You're meant to have kings that had the final say on shit. <laughs> you know? We're, just, we're talking about dem democratic values, man. Israel is not founded on democratic values. The Israel of the Bible is not founded on democratic values. You know, we had leaders, man. Leaders. Moses was a leader. He didn't take no vote. He was being guided by the Heavenly Father, man. You know, was that theocracy? Is that what it is? <laughs> At the time, you know. And Israel followed Moses, man. Moses was king. They followed everything that Moses told them to do. You know, vote. Vote people in and out as you saw fit. Nah, the majority of people are not fit to vote. <laughs> they don't know what they don't know what the hell is going on. Yeah, let's just look over here in, in Britain with the whole Brexit. <laughs> they don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> They've been duped, you know. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's meant to be a monarchy, man. And like I said, what values? What are you talking about, man? You're not in the Bible. Anyway. This is, a, this is a record sixth term as Prime Minister for Mr Netanyahu who was ousted by his opponents 18 months ago but his coalition partners are pledging to lead the country in a new direction. Yeah, of war. Um, they're talking about building more settlements. You know, aggravating people essentially. Building more settlements. Um, In a coalition deal with the ultra-nationalist religious Zionist party he signed last week, Mr. Netanyahu agreed to retroactively legalize outposts. He, he also promised to annex the West Bank while choosing the timing and weighing all of the states, state of Israel's national and international interests. Such, such a step would be opposed by Israel's Western and Arab allies. All right, so then they're, they're going <laughs> to... And their own, own people are going to like what they're going to be doing, man, but they they they're in a defense league with them, man, so they got to join them anyway. So the spokesman of Palestinian President Mahmoud, Mahmoud Abbas warned that that the plans to divert West Bank settlements would have repercussions for the region. Yeah, man, I'm gonna send them rockets over. <laughs> All right, but yeah, they're gonna aggravate people, man. 
Okay, they're gonna move a bit more um, bold. I mean, they're already doing some bold shit already, but you know, they're gonna move even more bold. He wants to keep his uh, his place. Mm, what's he saying there? <laughs> uh, it's probably the most righteous thing I've heard so far on this thing. Um, <laughs> so they have also been expressions of concern both inside and outside Israel about some ministers' very rigid views on the application of Jewish law and the LGBTQ rights. A.V. Maus, head of anti-LGBTQ known party, will serve as a deputy prime minister in the prime minister's office. He has called for Jerusalem's gay pride event to be banned. This approves of equal opportunities for women in the military that wants to limit immigration to Israel, to Israel to Jews according to strict interpretation of Jewish law. <laughs> uh, activists, doctors and business leaders have meanwhile warned that discrimination against uh, alphabet swipe individuals could potentially be legalized if the anti-discrimination law is changed to allow business to refuse service to people based on religious grounds. Yeah, it's a mess over there, man. You know, how how is this the, the, the nation of Israel? Like, you know, they're talking about the state of Israel. How, how, how is this, how, how is this happening? How can this be the, 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 the Lord's holy land and, and holy people? How does this make any sense? This is a fucking mess, man. But it don't matter because the Lord going to destroy Israel too, the land of Israel and the people on it. And he's going to be cleansed with fire also. Right, but like I said, these, no, these, these you know, small hats, they're going to play their role in bringing around the World War Three. All right, uh, let me get this. Uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 1 says, For behold, in those days and in that time, I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. All right, so um, the least of the flock shall draw them out. We're just reading Jeremiah, right? They're going to bring around this war in the valley of Jehoshaphat, okay, in, down there in the Middle East, right? They're going to cause all the armies of the world to be drawn down into there, okay, or the majority of them, right? And they're going to beef it up. Right and mutually destroy each other. Right, there ain't gonna be no winners in that war. Right, so I will also go all nations and will bring them down in, into the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. Okay, this is um jumping down to verse nine. It says, "Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles: Prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up, beat your plowshares into swords." And your pruning hooks into spears, let the weak say I'm strong. Is that not what they're doing? It's not the opposite, Ray Ran. When the Israelites are in power, when they get restored into land, they're gonna, you know, change all their swords into pruning hooks and, and, and plowshares. But right now everyone's preparing for war, right? They're they're beating their plowshares and the and, and their pruning hooks into spears and swords. It's just showing you, man, that these like these are not the people, man. These are uh, uh foreigners, man. Okay, that are uh, that are you know, parading around to be us, right? They're bringing about war, I'm not bringing about peace, all right? To fulfill this prophecy, right? It says, um, assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, the heathen, right? And gather yourselves together round about, tither calls thy mighty ones to come down. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there would I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Okay, they're all going to be judged. Put ye in a sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down for the press is full. The fats overflow for their wickedness is great. Okay, the, the alphabets and all kinds of other crazy stuff they be doing, right? All the other wickedness that they be doing down there. It says, multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of, of decision. Alright? So like I said, you know, they're going to do their thing. And, you know, bring about that war, right? And this is just from Ezekiel 38, verse 2. So, son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Mago, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. Okay, and this represents Russia. And say, Thus saith the Lord Power, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth, and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all within clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them had in swords, right? Russia's been put back in that war mentality, man. Okay, right now they're you know they're beefing out with Ukraine right now, you know. But there's there's a greater conflict 
on the horizon, man. And like I said, them them small hats, they're gonna draw Russia down. Come on down. And <laughs> they're gonna come down there, man, to defend their interests, man. You know, whatever goes, you know, how it transpires, you know, whether it's something to do with Iran or, or whatever, you know, Russia's gonna be drawn down down there to fight. Okay. And they said they they come with a great company, right? And it mentions these nations, Persia, Ethiopia, Libya, with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Okay, the Persians are the, are the, the, are, are the Iranians, man. You know? So they're, they're allied. They're allied up, right? So they're going to go to war together. This is uh, Goma and all these bands, the house of Togomar of the North Quarters and all his bands and many people with thee, right? So Russia's going to have a great company, like, like, like it says. Right, to come down to fight. Right, it says, um, Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them, because Russia like the strongest nation out of all of them. That's why Russia been doing these deals with these, with these smaller, weaker nations, man, to give them weapons and, and, and technology and whatever. And return, you know, they, they receive you know information and technology from, from these other nations too. Right to come against you know America and 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 their allies. Okay, World War Three is on the, on the horizon, man. Right, and there's a few things that need to happen first, but you know it's all being built up. Okay, all the all the all the um factors uh have to be right first. You know everyone's everyone's got to be in place for it to come around. Okay, so we sit and watch, and you know we see how things um. You know, materialize, you know. So, you know, that I'm gonna say shalom. Lord, when this is edifying, and uh, I'll catch you, brothers and sisters, on the next video, man. So, till next time, I say shalom.